Hello, hello, hello. I haven't made a video about um, any type of articles that I've collected in a while. And I think I caught, got this article from one of the Amiibo forums, and I think it was from Bruce Leroy. Um, shouts out to him. In any case, uh, I think the article, well, the article is called, Very Promising, USC Researchers Discover How to Regenerate Your Entire Immune System in 72 Hours. It says here, the immune system is something that is highly misunderstood, not just by everyday people, but also by many conventional doctors who we depend on for health advice. Many people resort to things like synthetic vitamins, medicines, ignoring natural alternatives to deal with colds and improve immunity. But the cycle of sickness always seems to continue. For people with compromised immune systems, there are many natural options. And now researchers have discovered that what could be well, well, could, uh, could what could well be one of the best ways to reset, and recharge your immune system, one that happens to be free and is believed to work even in the elderly as well. White blood cells, right, help immune response, and they can be recycled through fasting. The study showed. So I guess this this is uh, article is about fasting. Well, three days to a whole new immune system. According to researchers at University of Southern California, the act of fasting for as little as three days can regenerate the entire immune system, even in elderly people. They added that the discovery could be especially effective for people suffering from damaged immune systems, including chemotherapy patients who are protected from toxic impacts of the treatment during the fasting period. Interesting. Fasting for three days can re can regenerate the immune system. I wonder what the effect would it be for people who have TML. If they have just excess amounts of TMA in their gut, would that completely remove it out of their system? Well, let's continue to read. Flipping a regenerative switch. The researchers said that fasting helps the body stem cells to begin producing new white blood cells, which help to fight off the infection in the body. Hmm. Fasting gives the okay for stem cells to go ahead and begin proliferating and building, rebuilding the entire system. Professor Walter Longo, professor of gerontology and the bio... What is gerontology? What the hell is that? Gerontology. The study of old age and the process of... Oh, okay. This, that's sort of interesting. The study of old age. And the biological sciences at the University of Southern California told the UK's the Telegraph. He added that the body actually removed parts that were damaged, old or inefficient during the fasting process, creating literally a new system, new immune system. According to Dr. Longo, a person's system recycles unneeded immune cells, especially damaged ones, in order to create energy while they are fasting. Over the course of the study's trials, participants were asked to regularly fast between two to four days over a six-month period. That shit sounds hard. The study was re released in June, and Dr. Longo said that the clinical trials must still be completed, but added that research looks very promising. Yeah, I mean, this is very interesting. Um, I, and I know I didn't really finish this, but it is very interesting if this is true, that fasting can completely repair the immune system within as little as three days of fasting. But as if anybody ever, ever fasted, that shit is fucking hard, man. <laughs> that shit is really hard. For so stop eating. Well, I guess yeah, just stop eating in general. I'm pretty sure there there it's okay to water fast, but just to stop eat for stop eating for three days, that's that's a that's a hard task. But anyways, let's continue to read. Study was released in June, and Dr. Longo said that clinical trials must still be completed, but added that research looks very promising. Okay, so I read that. Other benefits of fasting. While it's not a good idea to fast for more than two to three days or doing it too often, fasting does have its benefits. Fasting, fasting weakens cancer. Interesting. A study published in the journal Science, Translational Medicine found that five out of eight cancer types responded positively to fasting. In fact, fasting improved survival rates by slowing the growth and spread of tumors. In mice, the study, fo in mice, the study found that fasting cycles without chemotherapy could slow the growth of breast cancer, melanoma, glioma, and human neuroblastoma. I don't know what that is. In several cases, the fasting cycles were as effective as chemotherapy. In normal cells, fasting causes cellular activity to slow down dramatically. In cancer cells, particularly breast cancer cells, however, it causes the growth of new proteins to encourage the tumor to grow and divide. 
However, the survival mechanism dooms cancer cells, which creates damaging free radical molecules that break down the cancer cell's DNA, effectively killing it. The cell is in fact committing cellular suicide. What we're seeing is that the cancer cells try to compensate for the lack of all the things missing in the blood after fasting. It may be trying to replace them, but it can't. Hmm. Senior author Walter Longo, professor of ger gerontology and blah, 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 okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, fasting protects your brain. Researchers at the National Institutes of Aging in Baltimore found out that fasting regularly could help protect the brain against degenerative illnesses. All it takes is fasting for one to two days every week to protect your brain from Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other degenerative illnesses. So fasting can also reduce risks of heart disease and diabetes. Well, I, you know, I read like 70% of it. Um, I'm going to drop the link in the description if you want to read the, <laughs> the last 30%. But that's very interesting, fasting. I think I actually already read some type of, um, I read another article about like exercising and fasting, intermittent fasting um, repairs the body because it does, uh, what was it? What I forgot what the name of it was called, but it removes like any um, folded proteins within the cell. I forgot what the name of it was called, but yeah, just study after study it shows that fasting does repair the body um, because it has time to just uh, I guess what is saying uh, white blood cells help the immune response, so it it does remove any toxicity within the cells or in the body. And improves the immune system maybe this might be a good thing for people who say they smell really really bad if you fasted two to three days maybe this odor would be completely dissipated or be completely removed from your body and then you could start anew and then start eating healthy and maybe then that's when you can get your body back together but i just wanted to make a quick uh, video about this article and share it any case i'm going to see you guys later